Why, what can we do as people, as one human race, to change the way people perceive people of faith? And how can we change the statistics that are just heartbreaking about hate in America? So, Sheila Ji, please tell us. Namaste. Uh, she already told my name, Sheila Kene. Luckily, the question which was asked about and be connected with how children. I have been teaching uh, Hindu children uh, for 25 years about our culture and religion. And to ask that question, we have already always uh, uh, believed in uh, rather we are uh, sure that there is only one God. I think. That's why everything is rhythmic, systemic, and the nature is uh, in order. Only we as a human being are making that difference. Uh, before I forget in the topic, I uh, appreciate very much Nilaji for inviting me for this uh, assembly and also for this temple. I appreciate their arrangements and thank you for being uh, so kind and it's um, I'm honored to speak here. Um, I have a, a very beautiful saying here. Uh, this is from the Chicago address of Swami Vivekananda. So it's right on the, on the spot. So many religions is the same life coming through classes of different colors. And these little variations are necessary for purposes of adaptation. But in the heart of everything, the same truth reigns. The Lord has declared to the Hindu in his incarnation as Sri Krishna, he says, I am in every religion as the thread through a string of pearls. Wherever thou sees extraordinary holiness and extraordinary power raising and purifying humanity, know that I am there. So beautiful. Every religion is uh, respect respected uh, and that's why we have in India Many religions flourish in India and they all live peacefully because we as Hindu, so we accept, not only accept, but we not only tolerate, but we accept and we honor and understand and let them live the way they want to live of all faith. And that's why that is the education that we give to the children. Uh, more talking about how to behave on this earth and what are their duties so that the duties is uh, that includes the respecting others respecting parents and respecting other people's uh, be, uh, what you call is, they may not understand faith, but the way different thing, people do different things. And particularly, I feel that tolerance, and more than tolerance, acceptance, when it comes to all human beings, then we will have a real peace and understanding on this, no matter where on the earth. As long as you live and let others live the way they want to, uh, provided they are not uh, dangerous to other people, I think we will live happily. So, and that is why the last thing that Swamiji has said that uh, the parliament of religion has shown anything to the world is this. It has proved to the world that holiness, purity, and charity are not the exclusive possessions of any church in the world, 
and that every system has produced men and women of the most exalted character. In the face of this evidence, if anybody dreams of the exclusive survival of his religion and destruction of others, I pity him from the bottom of my heart and point out to him that upon the banner of every religion will soon be written, in spite of resistance, help and not fight, assimilation and not destruction, harmony and peace and not dissension. Thank you. Thank you, Shilaji. Those are beautiful words. Before Shilaji goes, I want to thank her and the Hindu community for giving us Ruthwich. Ruthwich has been them for putting up with these, uh, all these women of Amway and all the aunties that have been bothering him for so many years. And I, I'm very proud of him today. And uh, thank you, Ruthwich, for all that you've done for us. God bless you.